Good morning and blessings to everybody. Today during the prayer service, we'll be remembering Ignatius of Antioch, pastor and martyr. Let's go ahead and begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now it will be forever. Amen. Ignatius of Antioch, pastor and martyr. Ignatius was the bishop of Antioch in Syria at the beginning of the second century, and an early Christian martyr. Near the end of the reign of Ro the Roman Emperor Trajan, Ignatius was arrested, taken in chains to Rome, and eventually thrown to the wild beast in the arena. On the way to Rome, he wrote letters to the Christians at Ephesus, Magnesia, Tralles, Rome, Philadelphia, and Smyrna, as well as to Polycarp, Bishop of Smyrna. In the letters, which are beautifully pastoral in tone, Ignatius warned against the certain heresies, false teachings. He also repeatedly stressed the full humanity and deity of Christ, the reality of Christ's bodily presence in the Lord's Supper, the supreme authority of the bishop, and the unity of the church found in her bishops. Ignatius was the first to use the word Catholic to describe the universality of the church. His Christ-centeredness, his courage in the face of martyrdom, and his zeal for the truth over the, against the false doctrine are a lasting legacy to the church. Psalm 39. O Lord, make me to know my end, and what is the measure of my days? Let me know how fleeting I am. Behold, you have made my days a few hand breaths, and my lifetime is as nothing before you. Surely all mankind stands as a mere breath. Surely a man goes about as a shadow. Surely for nothing they are in turmoil. Man heaps up wealth and does not know who will gather. And now, O Lord, for what do I wait? My hope is in you. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. For I am a sojourner with you, a guest like all my fathers. Look away from me that I may smile again before I depart and am no more. Reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 13th chapter. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who on finding one pearl of great value went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and gathered fish of every kind. When it was full, men drew it ashore and sat down and sorted the good into containers, but threw away the bad. So it will be at the close of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all these things? They said to him, yes. And he said to them, therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of a house who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. And when Jesus had finished these parables, he went away from there. And coming to his hometown, he taught them in their synagogue, so that they were astonished and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And, not, and are not all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all these things? And they took offense at him, but Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own hometown and in his own household, 
And he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, and the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 
Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. In the day of my trouble, I call upon you. For you answer me. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord, my God, with my whole heart. And I will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. Almighty God, we praise your name for Ignatius of Antioch, pastor and martyr. He offered himself as a grain to the, be ground by the teeth of wild beasts so that he might present you the pure bread of sacrifice. Accept the willing tribute of all that we are and all that we have, and give us a portion in the pure, unspotted offering of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, because of your tender love toward us sinners, you have given us your Son that, believing in him, we might have everlasting life. Continue to grant us your Holy Spirit, that we may remain steadfast in this faith to the end, and finally come to life everlasting, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.